Myself and Chris have had quite a few discussions um, regarding the the dead ships. Uh, we were also quite both passionate about having planets that are potentially completely dedicated to ship salvage. So with the derelict ships, as always as explained, we want to take the stuff that already exists in the game, which are broken up parts of the ships, that once the ship suffers catastrophic damage, it breaks apart. Um, how can we reuse these assets and, and kind of be very creative with them? The stuff that you saw in Gamescom was very much the first step of that. Um, we are already progressing further with it. So the work uh, that we're doing, as we've always explained, has always got a, lot, a longer path. Obviously, we've got kind of 3.0 coming due at the end of the year. The, the work that we're doing does fit into that. Um, it, again, it's really kind of about kind of creating these, these, these options for design to have. So uh, if you come across a, a derelict ship in, in space, don't be shocked, it's not a bug. It was always supposed to be there. Uh, it, it's something that, that this, you know, we, we want to push more. Um, the, the stuff in space is, is, I wouldn't say it's easier um, because the, the dressing of, of, of all that is you don't have to worry about like impact points and all that kind of stuff, it's, it's there. If you think about the opening to episode 7 where you see a lot of kind of derelict um, Star Destroyers and whatnot in a desert, we can totally kind of focus on, on doing that and the, the asset hit and essentially man hours work that go into that are fundamentally less now. So we've got kind of challenges how we are going to blend them with the terrain. Uh, the terrain is very much kind of early days, um, but I'm, I'm very excited to kind of experiment with, with you know, what would happen if we took a starfarer and buried it in a desert. How, how something erodes and decays in a desert is very different to how something would erode and decay in a swamp. So you've got those challenges to think about as well. But um, but the high level goal is for sure to have these in space in, in, by the end of the year uh, and then when the planetary tech kind of comes on more on board then we can kind of, kind of start collaborating with design and the environment guys and, and get these nice, nice pieces on planets for you as well.